Hey there, terrific teachers and techies out there. Today I want to just highlight one of probably one of the most underrated tools in your G Suite uh, list of apps, and that is Google Keep. So Google Keep is one of those apps that aren't sort of the uh, main ones that we tend to use day to day. I mean, some of us do use Keep. Uh, for keeping lists or to-do lists going or just taking notes. Uh, but it isn't one that you necessarily find in your drive when you go to new and want to create a new, uh, new file from a Google app. Uh, it isn't on our Google landing page for those of us in the Ginespez uh, suite here in our domain. Uh, but it's in your drive under the waffle icon. So depending on how you have your uh, apps sorted out here, you will have a Google Keep icon and there it is right there. So I tend to use Google Keep quite a bit for uh, sort of keeping tabs on to-do lists I have to do or just some quick notes uh, that I'm writing. And I'm just going to kind of highlight a few things here. I am on the desktop or the browser version, I should say. Uh, the mobile version adds some nice little features that aren't available in this browser browser version. So I am going to just sort of give a general overview today. And then in the, my next series of videos, I will sort of highlight some of those neat little features that are in the mobile version. So this is just my keep sort of my main page here. And it has a list of all the keeps I have created or I have collaborated on. So just like you can share uh, Google Apps, Docs, slides, collaborate with other people. You can add collaborators on a Google Meet. So I'm just going to quickly take you into a, a, a keep note. And uh, there'll be a lot of features within here that I won't get into. But if you haven't uh, used keep before, or maybe you haven't used it that often, be a great chance for you to jump in and explore. So I can just jump right in here and take a note. So I can start a new list, like a to-do list, or I can just start typing notes in here. And that's sort of a quick way that you can launch it. So let's say I was doing a new little list and I have, you know, things to do this week. And then I can just start uh, clean, or I should say organize my Google Drive. Um, you know, send emails, whatever it might be. So it's just a quick way you can have a keep going. Um, and then just some of the tools that are down here, you can uh, put reminders in. So if there were uh, things I wanted to get done by tomorrow at noon, I could click on that, add a reminder that by noon I'll be reminded that I have to get this done. You can add collaborators. So a little different than sharing um, a Google Doc or a slide or whatever you might be sharing and adding uh, other users to this one just adds collaborators so it's not different levels of sharing like you know you can have a uh, someone an editor or a viewer or just a commenter you're adding a collaborator so they are joining in on this keep list with you and would be adding to that list then there's different tools you can use like changing colors of things you can add images uh, to this as well you can annotate over images which is uh, kind of neat. Um, you can archive things. So if you didn't want to delete this list, you just wanted to archive it uh, for later, you can do that as well. And as I said, this is a checklist that I created. As I'm doing things, I could check them off, or tick the box, I should say, and that will show it as being completed. So this is great for students as well. If they had uh, sort of a list of things they should do as they're working on a specific task, uh, they could check them off as they go. Some students might just need reminders because these also integrate with your Google Docs and slides um, as well. So as I sort of look along the bottom here, you do have uh, some other tools. So again, you can delete it. You can add labels. So I could tag this with a certain label. Um, and, you know, if I had a math category or a language arts or just a general to do uh, category, that would just add a label to that. You can add drawings in here, make copy, you can uncheck all your items. So these are just other little things you can do. And as I mentioned, you can copy to Google Docs. You can also integrate this into um, Google Slides as well. So you'll notice as you work in Google Docs and Slides, uh, from time to time, you'll probably notice over on the right here, you have some added options. So you can integrate with your calendar, your keep or tasks. So any keep note, I could click right here 
and I could integrate those into my Google Slides. So um, you can, like I said, you can annotate over pictures. So integrating that into Google Slides sometimes is uh, something you can, handy that you can do as well. So there's a lot to Google Keep. This is just sort of a quick general overview. Um, and as I said in the coming uh, series of videos, I'll kind of highlight a few of the more specific things you can do with that, including annotate over pictures. You can dictate uh, to type notes. Um, you can actually take an image and it will grab the text from the image. So lots of little things I will show over the coming little while, but I just wanted to sort of give a little shout out to Google Keep. And if you're not using it, you may want to start uh, having a look at that. It's something you could use or you can use with your students. Uh, and if you are using it, then that's great. And feel free to let me know ways that you're using it. And I will certainly try to highlight those in my video series as well.